When little-known Cypriot Marcos Bagdatis took on Argentine number one David Nalbandian in the semi-finals of Australian Open 2006, few would have predicted the contest that would unfold. The 2003 junior champion Bagdatis had ridden a wave of support from Melbourne's Greek and Cypriot communities to stun 17th seed Rudek Stepanek, world number two Andy Roddick and 7th seed Ivan Lubacic on his way to his first Grand Slam semi-final. While Nalbandian, bolstered by his victory over Roger Federer, the year-ending Masters Cup, had overcome Jaco Nieminen, Tommy Robredo and Fabrice Santoro on his way to the last four. Nalbandian's ability to rip winners off both wings helped him seal the first set 6-3 and race to a 5-1 lead in the second. But Bagdatis refused to yield, rallying to win the next three games. We join the action with Nalbandian serving for the set at 5-4. For the second time, David Nalbandian serving for a two sets to love lead. Well, well, well. There was a little tension in the racket of Nalbandian. This is just... Look, look where he is. He's not coming into the net. He's hoping Bagdadis is going to miss that shot because he's just walked in there to the service line rather than positioning himself with real authority. Feet didn't move there either. Reach for the ball. Well, this is amazing. Look at this now. It was all he could do to walk before. Still needs one more of those. Thank you. Stop Baghdadis from getting back on level terms and winning four games in a row just when he looked dead and buried. Can you believe this? Not even his greatest admirers would have given him much of a chance just 15 to 20 minutes ago. Perhaps the number four seed has uh, been woken from his slumber by the noise of the fireworks. So are we effectively about to get back to where we were? 20 to 25 minutes ago. Three set points for Nelbandian. How much of a knockout blow will that be to Marcos Bagdadis? It was an amazing mini comeback there in the second set with four games in a row before dropping his. And Nelbandian now, after one hour and 36 minutes, in command. 
Holding on to secure a two sets to love lead, now Bandian had the match seemingly on his terms. We rejoin the action midway through the third set with Baghdatis leading 3-2 on serve. starts going for a bit more as Baghdadis has it it tends to make the opponent go for a bit more because he can't afford to let the opponent dictate too much so in a sense now has been forced to go for a little bit more a little earlier than he'd really prefer to Wasn't so much that shot though, it was the return of serve. He had loved 30 as he did on the previous service game. And with the second serve, he just got too conservative. He's got to go after that. Oh! What a moment to come up with that. Good serve. He's moving as well at the moment as he's uh, moved at any stage in this match, Baghdadis. <laughs> the emotion is up. Again, I thought the return was just a little too conservative. 15.40, second serve. The second serve was... On the average, 152 kilometers an hour is up in the hitting zone. He can't afford to let these opportunities slip by. in front in the third set and keeps his finals dream alive for the moment at least Sensational shot. Wonderful counter attack from Nelband in the bag. Dardis backhand down the line was a good one. Look at the speed that he gets there. Still able to get around the outside of the ball. Wonderful athlete, Nelbandian. chances now for the man from Cyprus to take us into a fourth set and who knows maybe beyond you could have got long odds about this match going to a fourth set early in the second somehow Marcos Baghdadis has found some reserves of energy with the crowd behind him, Baghdati's forced a break to go up 2-1 in the fourth set. But the Cypriot was forced to scramble to maintain the buffer in the eighth game. David Nelbandian may well end up regretting this game. The eighth game of the fourth set. 
three break chances against Baghdadis, and he was able to take none of them. We rejoin the action with the exhausted 20-year-old serving for the fourth set. of the fatigue that was a very basic put away shot even given the circumstances the tension but just doesn't get up to the ball he's just reaching for it a fraction that's big 203 going wide 14, 15. had a real crack off the racket that one Two set points to the man ranked number 54 in the world. Oh. It's okay, it was a good decision. It was there to be taken. He missed it, but he's got to continue with that decision making. sets in his young career. A dramatic fifth set saw an early exchange of breaks before Nalbandian again made inroads on the Baghdati serve. We rejoin the action with the Argentine leading 4-2 in the decider. Conversely, of course, if now Bandian is broken again, then the doubts will be large in his mind. and relinquish it. He 
He's been broken twice already in this set. Ash too has Baghdadis. Thank you, please. The winner of this game has a massive advantage. We can even see it in the movement of Nalbandi at, Nalbandi at the moment. He's not moving fluently. There's hesitancy in the way he's getting to the ball. It's really got very little to do with fatigue. It's just some self-doubt. that Marcos Bagdadis is going to stage one of the great comebacks at the Australian Open. He's one game away. He faced an impossible task a couple of hours ago. Baghdadi's looking to be the first man into the final. We've seen two lots of successive breaks of serve in this final set. David Nelbandian needs to make it three to keep the semi-final alive. It's raining. Can you believe this? What a moment for this to happen. Out of nowhere, the heavens open. Baghdadis looks to the skies and play is suspended and they will go off for probably about half an hour until play resumes. So after the rain delay, we're ready to go and Marcos Baghdadis is three points away from the Australian Open final. Settler of a point, certainly from, from the Baghdadi's perspective, just up the ante on that last backhand, and now Bandian caught it late. Too good.
According to the rankings, this man should have been out in the third round. Is he about to go all the way to the big dance? Called from the chair. Courageous call from Andreas Egli. Yes. Hawkeye says the ball touched the line. Well, well. It would have been all over. toughness though from Baghdadis who's standing at match point saw a ball that was horribly close he must have wanted felt hoped it was in let it go and got on with the next point Australian Open history.